Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Boxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at how to install or create a new shared drive on your Asus Store NAS, and also how to map that drive in a Windows environment. The principle is pretty much the same for Mac and iOS users, so you can follow along if you wish to. Obviously, there will be some slight differences, but we'll try and do it as quickly and as cleanly as we can. So, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you want to do, if you haven't already, obviously set up your NAS, all the usernames, profiles, etc, etc. You've probably already installed Asus Store Control Center. If not, this is the icon here. So if you haven't already installed it, then you can head over to the asusstore.com starting page. Go down, choose your particular NAS products. So we're going to be using a Locker Store 2 for this particular instance. Once you get to this page, you can scroll down to number 4 or click on number 4. And you can choose Let's Get Started. You can choose this section to download the Asia Store Control Center. Or alternatively, if you're trying to do this on a mobile device, such as an Android or iOS, then you can scan the QR codes on either of these. This one for Apple devices, this one for Android devices. Once you've downloaded that and installed it, you'll have the Asia Store Control Center, which will look a little something like this, which you can click on Scan. And it's already found our NAS there, so that's all good. So make sure you've got that installed and connected, and then you can use this button here to open your NAS, or you can just go straight into your NAS and open up via a web browser and go into the main portal. So in the portal, you'd probably think straight away that you'd want to add a folder in File Explorer, which you kind of can do, but it's not really for general use is more for your individual home folders, that kind of stuff. So close down that one and go over to the side here where you've got your preferences tab. Click on preferences and we want this section here in access control, which is shared folders. So we're going to click on shared folders and then we get the access control window. So these are all your folders which are available to yourself and also other users should you wish them to. And it's pretty straightforward how this all works. So if you want to add a new share, so click on add, give the share a name. So we'll call this storage and you can choose to give it a description if you want to. Um, we'll call this main storage and you get to choose the volume it's on. Now, obviously, depending what volume you've got set up on your NAS, you'll probably just get volume one. But if you've got more than one volume set up, obviously choose the appropriate one for your particular NAS. You've also got options here so you can have it so it's invisible in network or my network places. Most people are going to want to actually find it easily. If you do want to be able to find it a little bit more easily, leave this unchecked. You've got the choice as well to enable the network recycle bin. So if something gets deleted from it, you can recover it. Obviously, this will take up more storage room because the recycle bin is technically still a file. So you can choose to have that enabled or disabled. For this particular instance, I'm going to choose to have it disabled obviously make it however you want to. And also for slightly more security, if you want to, you can encrypt the shared folder. The encryption is done in a hardware level, so it doesn't actually really cause any issues okay, down to the individual. This section here will be check marked out. So it says only accessible by administrator group users. Don't worry, you can't change that, but you can in the next window. So let's click on next. And now we've got our options for this new folder. So you can choose to have read and write for all users, which for some people, might be beneficial, but if there's other people that you've set up as users or that potentially could gain access, you can have it so it's read only for all users, but read and write for administrators, which is the default configuration. You can also choose by a user, so you can choose an individual user or by a user group. Also, you can choose your privileges for FTP. Um, I've got it set to deny access, which is the default. Unless you're going to be using FTP to get into the server, then I would leave it as it is. And also you've got enable Windows account control. So if you're not too sure what that is, that is basically for shared folders, you can use the Windows kind of privilege system, ALC. Again, down to the individual, I'm going to leave that disabled or unchecked. So we're going to click on next. And it asks you to confirm the settings. And we'll click on finish. And there we go. So now we've got our storage folder. So now this will be available as a folder to be accessed on the network. So if we go into my computer, go into network. And there is our Azure store. At the moment it's saying Windows can access because we uh, haven't got the detail settings, but that's not a problem. So what we want to do now is we actually want to map that drive so we can access it or so we can actually just 
use it on a general basis. So you can choose to do it in various ways. Windows does have its own methods of actually creating mapped drives, but we're actually going to use Asus Store's own app for this in the Asus Store Control Center. So in this section, we've got options for connect. So we're going to choose to map a network drive. So now you put in your username and your password. That is the username and password that you use to access your NAS. If you choose to remember password, then this will make life a bit easier for you. Again, down to security issues. If you want to leave it disabled, and you just put in your password every time you want to access it. Click on next. Basically, it will validate your account and password. If at that point it comes up with an issue, you've put in the, either the wrong username or the wrong password, and you can choose which folder you want to actually map. So you've got the option here for your home folder, public and web, which are the default installed folders, but we want to map to our new storage bin. So we're going to choose that one and then we can choose a drive letter. So for simplicity's sake, I'm going to choose drive letter S for storage. And you've got the option here for open the map drive upon finishing, which I will do might as well. Uh, reconnect at Windows Logon automatically. That makes a lot of sense if you're going to be using it on a regular basis. And also you've got the option to remember my credentials again. For security purposes, you may want to leave that blank. But for simplicity, remembering credentials makes life a lot easier. Click on finish. And there we go. There is our storage folder. So that is now mapped to the NAS. That is our S drive or storage drive. So anything that you put in here will appear on your NAS and will be backed up, etc, etc. All that usual kind of stuff. So there you go. That is how to create a new share and also how to map it in your Windows devices. Hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Any more comments or questions about Asus Store NAS in general or file transfers or anything PC related, you can reach us in the Discord or from the contact details in the video description below. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.